Hey guys, Josiah here from Swim Decaders, thinkorswim.net. Um, I've had several qu requests recently for a column that would show the percent change from open instead of uh, just the percent change from yesterday's close. I I've had several people ask for this. Um, and so I thought I'd go ahead and just uh, put a package together for the site so that everybody would ha have access to it. So, um, here in Thinkorswim, we uh, I'll I'll show you what we uh, what the package includes here. So I'm in the uh, Stock Hacker Scanner, and uh, so we've got the percent change from open scan loaded, and so it has some basic criteria here: the minimum and maximum close uh, prices, the average daily volume of one million or greater, and so this is the actual line that has the scan criteria for percent change from open. So this will actually let you find stocks that have all, uh, only stocks that have changed uh, at least a minimum percentage that you set from the open. So if I go in here, I'll show you how to, how to set those settings. Um, you would just click that pencil icon right there and change this to whatever percentage you want to find movers for. So if you want 1%, you would put 1.0. 1 uh, if you want a half a percent, you put 0.5 and so forth. And so that will say what percentage stocks, what's the minimum percent change, minimum uh, up mover or minimum down mover. So 1% plus or 1% minus that you want to find stocks for. Now then you can set this to yes or no for if you only want to show down movers, you can set uh, show up movers to no and make sure down movers is set to yes. Uh, vice versa, if you only want to show up movers and don't want to show down movers, just set one to yes and one to no, etc. So that's how that works. Uh, then just click OK, and that will apply these settings. So that's the custom line that shows the percent change for open. And then you can just change this to show however many stocks you want, 500 stocks sorted by percent change. Now, this will be the percent change from close, but it'll at least get us uh, get it sorted in the right direction uh, in descending order. So I'm going to hit scan. And so now it's going to show us these results. And over here on the far right, I have the percent change from open column that comes with this package. And so you can sort uh, by negative percent change or positive percent change. And it highlights it green or red based on the criteria you give it. So if you set the, um, so I think in here we set the minimum percent change to 1%. So in here we can hit right click on the column header and click edit formula. We can go in here and set the minimum percent change from open that we want it to color based on. So if um, we want it to highlight whenever a percent change is greater than half a percent, then you can set that here. Or if you want it to color only if the percent change is greater than one and a half percent, set that and it's going to reload here. So now it just sets the normal movers to uh, that are less than one and a half percent to just the normal color white and anything greater than that it colors it highlights green for us or it should color it red for us as, on the downside as well as you see there so it just you can set it how you can set the highlighting however you want there uh, just go into right click the column header select edit formula and just change this value to whatever you want since we uh, set the scanner to one percent i'm going to set this to one percent as well and so that'll reload and then uh, it will color it based on the 1% now. And so now, and you see that since this has changed, since we actually ran the scan, some of these actually are not 1% anymore, but they, they were when we ran the scan. But So now those are the ones that are not matching, that are less than 1% movers. These have moved 1% down, and these have moved 1% or greater up. So that's how that works. You can use this column on your watch list, your sidebar watch list. You can use it in the scanner. You can use it in market watch. Uh, anywhere that you can use a custom column in Thinkorswim, you can use this column. And uh, the scan, you can use it as a stock hacker scan. You can also use it as a dynamic watch list on the sidebar. Uh, so it'll dynamically update with the biggest movers from the open for the day. 
so that's how this works. Um, I just uh, put that together since I'd had so many requests for it and uh, thought I'd get it out on the site today. So if you have any questions, just send us an email. Just uh, click contact at the top of the site. I'm happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you later.